then Aiki News happened to find this book, Budo, published by the founder in 1938. Only a few copies were printed. This is a copy of that book. This book is proof that what I have been doing is not incorrect. Take the case of Moro Tedori. If you are aware of being grabbed, you won't be able to move. However, there is an angle which enables you to move easily. You can execute various techniques. For example, the founder would often do this. You come to here, you can strike his neck or break his arm. This kind of thing is not written in the book. So you have to put your arm beneath his upper arm. But this is not indicated in the book either. In the technique I just showed you, I entered quickly and then opened my body. Sensei would say we should move the shoulder in. He would tell us to throw the opponent by moving the shoulder in. When asked what to do if the opponent let go of his hand, he would tell us to grab here, do this, and break his arm. Uh, of course you work on the wrist, but when you do so, you do it as if to overwhelm the opponent. You can cultivate your key, as I mentioned earlier, also while doing these movements. If I have power in my arm, I can handle him. But when you deal with a large, powerful person like him, it is quite difficult to do so. You may be able to handle him if you really break his balance, but if you apply ki, ki which really overwhelms the opponent, you can execute a technique wonderfully. This is the Ikkyo technique. But nobody comes to attack you barehanded like this. This represents a sword strike. If you handle this attack by crashing into him when entering, you will be injured.